Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. And today we're doing a Soraka game, and what's more, this game has already been recorded yesterday evening, but I couldn't actually um, put a commentary with it. Well, because it was just too late. And so we are doing the commentary now, but this, uh, as you can see this is not a live commentary. So we can actually see the first person view and still have a third person commentary. So this is how I used to do uh, the games before the LOL replay system uh, existed. And uh, I started out with uh, just a normal uh, regrowth pendant. And regrowth pendant is actually a really good item to start with on Soraka. And yeah, we are up against uh, Mordekaiser who we are not going to kill anytime soon. And um, yeah, who does pretty much a lot of damage. And um, this other guy, Nocturne, he does a lot of damage too, but we might be able to kill him at some point. I don't actually remember what happens in the laning phase. I do remember what I did in this game uh, for the rest, but you'll you'll see. I mean, it's it's a good game. That's why I'm doing this, but because uh, I was actually planning to just do Soraka, and that's it. But it actually turned out to be a little bit different. But you've also already seen the title, so I'm assuming you know what's going to happen at some point. But just wanted to let you know that at least I was planning to do a normal Soraka game. But yeah, Soraka is only useful if the opponents are actually good at things like harassing. There's not a whole lot you have to do if they're not doing anything. And at this moment, yeah, they're still not doing anything. They're doing a little bit of damage, but my regrowth pendant can handle that all on its own. And I don't actually have to use the heal at all. And because I'm not using the heal, I'm not using the uh, infuse, the uh, mana boost. So I can just silence the enemies every now and then, and even though that has no effect whatsoever, I'm still going to do it. So here I decide, well, let's go for something uh, more offensive. And as you can see, we do quite a lot of damage there. And hopefully that will be enough to keep... Uh, Nocturne away from us because uh, well Mordekaiser we cannot kill that's just an impossibility but um, yeah Nocturne we can uh, pretty much take him of course as I said Nocturne uh, does quite a lot of damage and we still have to watch out for him but his, um, his E the the I forgot what it's called. The black uh, cloud thingy. Um, ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, that one doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I can easily heal that up with just my level 2 heal, I think it is at the moment. Yeah. After that, I have no idea. No, it's level 1 heal still, because I picked the level in Q. So, with my level 1 heal, I can easily heal that up. So as you can see, I don't heal myself and my teammate completely because that would negate the the effect of the uh, the normal heal. Everyone has normal heal, so you heal a few hit points every now and then. And um, as a Soraka character, you want to make sure that you use that as optimally as possible because that is what. Well, what makes the difference between being out of mana really early on and having mana for basically all the game. And if you do this correctly, you don't have to go back ever. There is no reason for you to ever be out of mana. Unless, well, your opponents are harassing a whole lot. But yeah, with his, uh, with his E, with the Infuse, 
you can pretty much keep your uh, healing going for all of the game assuming that you are not getting harassed so your uh, your teammate can get harassed but not you and as you can see we do quite a bit of damage there with some help of the turret of course and yeah the uh, the, the, the come on can't remember what it's called the exhaust actually draws out the flash there so it wasn't my exhaust obviously because I am always going for a flash ghost and yeah flash ghost in my opinion is the most useful sp spell combination in the in the game because even though you have some uses for s things like ignite um, yeah they're, they're not as big as flashing ghosts so ignite and exhaust yeah they have some uses but they're not nearly as good as flashing ghosts in my opinion so I'm going for a regrowth pendant here oh, a philosopher's stone here and well decide to go for my normal second item actually this should have been boots but we'll see more on that later because I totally forget the boots I do target this guy with uh, with heal and I do use my ghost here to get back in lane which is normally not the best practice but because our lane is being pushed and um, Amumu is very low on health I decided to do that anyway so I give him some mana, I give him some, some health and um, hopefully that's good enough to, uh, to keep him alive for a little while some more health, some more mana had not a whole lot happening here early game uh, except for some harassment uh, because well we are two tanks and the enemy should have been pushing us like mad or with two tanks, we're a tank and a support there's no way we can defend any real push and apparently my uh, my opponents here think that they should stay passive anyway which is well to our advantage of course because we need the, the time to uh, to kill the minions and as long as we can kill the minions without getting killed we are doing our job so Mumu doing a whole lot better on the minion kills here because he has uh, his tantrum which is excellent for killing minions obviously and we see um, uh, what's this guy's name Udir coming in for a gank but yeah he comes exactly at the wrong moment because well that was exactly the moment the uh, uh, well the opponent decided to back off and so he's going back to here they probably uh, said that uh, Udio was missing in mid and so that's why they backed off I guess but um, all of a sudden we get the chance to push a little bit and yeah so we take the chance we take our opportunity and, and push the lane because now we can actually help out mid if we want to so I was hoping somebody to come into uh, to range but it uh, doesn't happen so eventually I go back in lane and uh, and just go heal this guy Well, eventually this is going to be uh, exciting. The uh, don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be a good game. But you'll probably want to fast forward a little bit. Because early game, yeah, you can imagine that a Mumu plus Soraka isn't really the best combination ever to get an exciting laning phase. But I don't re actually remember when the exciting stuff happened. 
So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm still wondering because I think that I actually deleted the game where I talked about that. Um, I'm wondering who is watching the uh, the lol for dummies. And oh yeah, here I get feared, and uh, I cannot actually heal myself, as you can see, because of the ignite and now an exhaust and all lol. Yeah, with two summoners and two uh, ultimates, it is. Uh, oh no, 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 one ultimate, and all of the skills of Nocturne. It is fairly impossible for me to stay alive, obviously. So, yeah, I die, and I decide, well, screw this, I'm going AD. Because I want to be able to actually farm the minions, because Amumu, while doing a decent job, isn't actually able to uh, to do anything against these guys. Oh, I decide to use my ultimate there, because I am at the fountain, so I get my mana back. So apparently a uh, mid died, so that's good. Well, mid got killed, I should say, because mid died sounds like our champion actually died. But uh, this guy, this um, what's he called? Udir. I keep forgetting. Um, Udir actually uh, had, well, I think one of the best games ever with Udir because he was playing magnificently. And I've never seen Udyr mid, but apparently it is viable against uh, Kartus. And as you can see, the uh, Mordekaiser was now mid, but he is getting owned by uh, by Udyr because Udyr is chasing him now. And I'm not actually sure what's going to happen. Oh, there's someone else coming in, and Kartus and Mordekaiser come after him. So, Amumu is uh, going to help, and I eventually go to help. But apparently he doesn't need any help at all. So Udyr has some nice lifesteal here. And that's why he is uh, staying alive. And I don't actually have the the ability to show you the items here, but um, I, it it has some merit to see where I click and how I keep my screen. As you can see, I don't use. Uh, yeah, many people ask this. That's why I'm telling this. Um, I don't use the locked camera, and I advise everyone to learn to use the unlocked camera because I know that some people have some real trouble with it. But with locked camera, you can never scout. You can never see what other lanes are doing or what. Um, yeah, you you can see see nothing basically. You can only see a little space around your champion, but you can you can never see uh, what your enemy is doing while moving around. And I showed that a little bit in uh, the, the last Ash game I uh, I posted. I don't actually remember what it was. I think it's uh, it's one of the uh, yeah the the lol for dummy games. So as you can see, I'm still having huge trouble last hitting because I'm not actually paying attention and I should pay a little more attention to which one I hit but yeah it is really hard to last hit with a terrible character like uh, like Soraka because her attack animation takes about two seconds and yeah the uh, the time you spent on doing that, on doing the attack animation, and then having a very slow moving projectile really doesn't help you out at all. Because what you want is you want to have a very fast moving projectile with no An attack animation at all. And uh, yeah, as you can see I'm going for Matters Blood Razors. 
And that's not just a random pick. I mean, I know my skills here. I've played Soraka quite a lot of times. And her Q actually reduces magic resist. It's not just uh, magic penetration, it reduces magic resist. Which means that if you use it often enough, people will actually go below zero on their magic resist. And combining that with Matter's Blood Razor, which does um, almost all magic damage, I mean it's 4% of the target health, and that's way more than the normal attack as attack damage on her. Yeah, that combines pretty well because you do magic damage and you amplify the magic damage with your skills. So all in all, it's one of the uh, the better combinations in this game. Even though, well, Soraka is just horrible. So I am trying to get some uh, some cues on these guys because the Q actually stacks. I think. I, I can remember 10 times or something like that, 15 times, a load of times at least. And I lose all of the minions here to someone else, probably the Teemo. Let me guide. So I was assuming I would pick up 5 out of 6 minions there, but uh, didn't get that to work. And I'm still trying to get some cues off, because not only my damage is, uh, is magic, it's also the damage from Teemo, and it's also the damage from uh, Nunu that's being amplified. So it is a really good skill to uh, to use if you're going aggressive, and if your team is a little bit uh, aggressive. And especially, like now, if you're in a lane where... Uh, yeah, where everyone is uh, is magic damage. Another Q. Every Q reduces the armor by, I think, 4. I can't actually remember. And I cannot check because, well, I'm not controlling the mouse. I'm so used to controlling the mouse by now. Because if I do live commentary, I can control the mouse. And if I do a replay commentary, I can also do the mouse. But, um, yeah, live to gameplay has the ability to... Uh, or the advantage of showing you how to actually control your hero, or how I actually control your hero, my hero. Because I'm not saying that I'm the best player ever, I'm definitely not. But um, it is useful to know how other pa people play their hero, how they, uh, they keep their screen. And I really hope that at some point, when we get a replay system from, uh, from Riot Games, that we will actually be able to see that. Because seeing where someone clicks, and as you can see I click quite a lot. I, I move my mouse all the time. Uh, and unless I'm in a situation like that, uh, like this where I'm uh, just attacking minions and then I'm just clicking on one minion until it dies. Because at this point there's no reason to keep the, the lane in mid. We are trying to uh, to push the lane as much as possible because it makes it impossible for them to get all of the minions. They they will have to last hit uh, versus the turrets and um, yeah, last hitting versus the turret is very hard because it means that you have to time your skills and uh, well basic attacks exactly right and uh, that's never going to happen. So at this point I think I'll go home because I have 1850 gold and um, I have no mana left. Oh, this guy probably just used uh, clarity because I definitely didn't have mana. Didn't even notice I was watching mid because we lost mid turret. Oh, and now I go home with uh, 2000 gold. That should be enough to buy, uh, well, two of the items I need. Well, as you can see, I was about 15 gold short, but that's about 7 seconds, so it shouldn't matter too much. Because I have Philosopher's Stone, and with Philosopher's Stone you get half a gold per second. And you get about one gold per second anyway. So, um, yeah. My path is clear. 
So we lost uh, two turrets so far. The enemy has lost two turrets so far, but we are definitely doing better. Because it's five and one. By the power of the stars. And here, uh, yeah, since I said that I almost have my blood razors, they notice that I'm doing AD Soraka. It is always funny when people see that. Because, well, AD Soraka is not really good as a champion, or not regarded as a good champion. It is actually really good, because with the attack speed boost you get a pretty high attack speed. And as I said, the combination of your Q with... Um, uh, with the blood razors is actually really good and since virtually every champion does uh, does some magic damage yeah it is excellent they uh, by the way th every champion does magic damage because it doesn't apply lifesteal so that's why for example Yi has a Q so the, the elf strike that does um, magic damage because then you cannot use lifesteal on it I personally would have solved that in a completely different way because now you have well too much magic damage all of the big damage items and skills are all magic damage that means that well if every champion has magic damage then things like uh, the Q from Soraka and as you can see I have quite a high attack speed with uh, the blood boy but um, with the uh, Oh yeah, we're going to die here because of uh, of a Kali. So as you can see, uh, yeah, a Kali does quite a lot of damage here, and that is not really what we wanted here. But yeah, nothing you can do about that anyway. But yeah, I was talking about uh, the overpowered skills and such. So the um, yeah, my Q here is uh, quite overpowered because of the, the fact that all of the high damage things, um, yeah, they uh, they are in, they are magic damage. <laughs> A failed uh, jump there by um, by Nocturne, and this guy is still chasing, and yeah, he's going to die now. There's no way he's going to escape from Timo. And there we go. That was actually really nice. And Nunu is actually escaping that. But yeah, you have the same problem with... Uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Come on. Abyssal Scepter. Abyssal Scepter also reduces magic resistance. So it's not magic penetration. It reduces all magic resistance from... Uh, nearby champions nearby enemy champions obviously and that means that all of the uh, magic damage on all of the uh, the champions is actually amplified By the power of the stars. so yeah it is it is incredible uh, how how powerful that is and that's why I w I'm wondering why nobody ever takes that I mean it is such a good item. And I should have actually gotten that this game. Because it combines so well with all of my uh, skills. Because it has AD. Uh, it gives me some magic resist and it gives me the uh, magic penetration that I've been looking for to combine with my, uh, my blood razors. But as you can see I still don't have boots. And yeah I didn't notice that yet because... Uh, yeah, at the moment I haven't had the problem yet that I'm not fast enough. I heed their call. Because at this moment, yeah, I haven't been in real trouble yet. Uh, yeah, this this Udir really was very pro. Because he was commenting on that I should post this video and tell everyone how pro he was. And he was. I mean, he did a great job there. And, um, yeah. 
I'm not uh, going to get the best result ever because, well, obviously Soraka doesn't have any spike damage, so getting kills is really hard. But doing damage is not that hard. Obviously, just right-clicking someone, anyone can do that. And with with some heal and uh, yeah, some heal and some some silence. I should be able to do uh, some support on my uh, allies as well, but yeah, we're we're doing great here. There's no problem in the game. So double kill for Mumu there, <laughs> which is always nice to see that uh, the little mummy actually has some power in. It. Random ignite there. I don't know why people do that, but it's okay. Oh, by the way, our Nunu is level 8, just so everyone knows, uh, if you see him uh, doing some crazy stuff. It's because he's only a level 8 summoner, and he did very well. He actually went 0, 4 and 11, something like that. But that's, that's excellent. For being level 8 with all these level 30s in your game, then having uh, 11 assists and only 4 deaths is actually really good. Uh, Nunu, of course, is uh, really capable of uh, of staying alive. So as you can see, I used my ultimate there to uh, uh, to take uh, the uh, to take out the uh, ultimate from Cartus. Yeah, Timo running the wrong way. Don't know why he did that. And yeah, this uh, this guy is going to die because I am 80 Soraka. And I will kill you all. So I actually get a kill there. Except my awesome AD. But yeah, uh, Kali used a flash there to catch up with me, which is fine. I mean, if you want to use to use your flash and then die, that's fine. I don't care. I could have easily just gotten the Teemo by running after him and then not died. Because obviously Akali was way too low to chase. So actually going for some more attack damage and of course my boots with uh, attack speed. An enemy has been slain. But yeah, that, uh, that chase was actually really bad because I... Um, I didn't have boots, and that makes a huge difference. It's uh, yeah, it's a huge amount of attack or of movement speed that you're missing, and that's why I actually couldn't really get away. I eventually got away because I killed uh, Akali, but uh, yeah. So the enemy just won a team fight there, and uh, that was great for them. But it's not going to make a huge difference. Because we are still uh, way ahead in power at least. I think it's 16 and 7 now. I'll actually read it. Yeah, Fraps doesn't actually preserve all of the colors. And that kind of annoys me. I wish it could uh, just be the same colors as it shows on my screen, but apparently it does something to the colors that it's not actually the same. It is quite similar, and I hope that, uh, uh, or I mostly hope that my uh, uh, other programs that I use to compile videos and things like that, that they don't affect the video quality too much. And yeah, for those of you who want to comment on that, I do prefer to put my skills on um, uh, off self-cast and uh, smart-cast and uh, alt Q and W and God knows what else. I prefer to do it by hand. So yeah, every now and then you get into some trouble with uh, with doing it by hand, but mostly I make well I, I get better results with uh, uh, actually clicking the champion I want to heal or give mana to or silence or whatever I don't like smart casts it is just 
completely annoying to me. And here, Mumu calls me Troll Soraka, but I'm actually not. I'm actually a good Soraka here. Yeah, the ultimate, uh, or the, the card's ultimate is really getting strong here. Uh, especially because I don't have any magic resist, and apparently neither does uh, Nunu. But yeah, as I said, Nunu is a level 8 summoner, and I think he is doing a good job here. But he just hasn't learned how to play Nunu yet, because <laughs> he probably just bought him. And Nunu is an excellent uh, character, but you need to make him tanky. Because late game, yeah, you're not going to do a whole lot of damage. And you are just there to deal out the slows and the uh, movement speed increases. And useful things like that. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't have the heal ready to uh, to heal him. And this guy is going to die as well. Because every time Udir gets killed by, uh, by Mordekaiser's ultimate... It is almost impossible to. Uh, it's almost impossible to to stay alive because Udir does so much damage. My path is clear. And yeah, if uh, the shadow of Udir is uh, is on the field, then you really want to run out. So we're going to chase these guys down. Hopefully they cannot catch up with uh, with the Amumu. I already used my ultimate here. And yeah, I'm letting Timo go in first, hoping that he could do a little bit more damage so that I would overextend by trying to kill him. And then I can come in to uh, just silence and uh, heal him. Well, not silence him, but silence the enemy and uh, heal the Timo. So as you can see, I still have full mana, and um, yeah, that's why I didn't have to go uh, AP, because I'm not using any of my skills. The, the, the enemy is just not harassing at all. And if someone gets killed, sure, I can heal them once or twice, but it wouldn't have made a difference if I have AP. Because it would increase the, the heal, of course, but they will probably still die. I could do with some more cooldown reduction the though, because the, the cooldown reduction makes it so much easier to uh, to keep people alive with your heal. Let me guide you. So just uh, walking up top lane with Amumu. Amumu apparently not interested in pushing this lane. Oh, he is goat. But yeah, I'm just trying to get some last hits in. Not actually uh, doing my best job here, but yeah, it doesn't really matter in the end. And apparently we're going for Baron, which is fine, because Baron, we can easily take that out with my blood raises. Because with my blood raises, I'm actually doing a lot of damage here, and uh, yeah, Mumu should really put on his tears, I wanted to say, but there he goes. And I am just uh, attacking, and now with uh, Udir coming in, yeah, this is finished in... Uh, in a matter of seconds. My character bugging a little bit there. The Wanting to run around the other way all the time. I mean, just rewind the video a little bit and you can see that. It first wants to go top and then bottom and top, bottom. <laughs> so eventually and chooses to go top. So yeah, I say that they have to go back here because Udir's shadow is coming, <laughs> and there he is. 
and they're going to kill me now. And we have no chance here. So I use my ultimate to save Timo, but Timo isn't savable. And I don't have the attack damage necessary to get out of that. And, uh, Yeah, I think Amumu could have killed the uh, the Mordekaiser there, but it doesn't work. It doesn't happen. So Yeah, so every time the shadow from uh, Udir is on the field, we just need to run. And uh, we just need to wait it out, it's like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And after that, they're weak again. But they're picking off our strongest champion, and yeah. If we can stay out of that, so out of the fight for like 30 seconds, then we're fine. And we could have easily escaped there, because they didn't go for us, they actually went uh, back to base first, or well, kind of partly back to base and then came for us, we could have easily escaped, but yeah, they want to go in and as a support character, even though I'm going AD, I'm still a support character, I, uh, I need to stay in. So I'm going for, uh, what is it called, the uh, Triforce, Trinity Force. And Trinity Force is actually really strong on, uh, well, on a lot of characters. One of which being AD Soraka. Because it provides you with some extra movement speed, which is always nice. Some extra damage, uh, a slow on your attack, By although it's a percentage stars. chance of a slow, but still. Um, it gives you uh, extra damage with the Sheen. It gives you some AP. It basically gives you everything you could possibly want. So yeah, I was a little bit late on my ultimate there. Just uh, trying to do some damage here. There well, Akali coming from me, but she's not going to kill me anytime soon. Because I can easily just kite her along and nothing is going to happen. She used all three of her stacks there from her ultimate. And I'm still over half health. And now that, <laughs> that was quite painful. So I should really uh, buy some magic resist here. <laughs> but Akali on her own, yeah, not too much of a problem anymore. She's not been fed, so it's no problem. As I said, I need some magic resist, and I need some magic resist quite soon. Because even though my uh, my passive gives gives me some magic resist, it is still not the best ever. I'm at 101, no, 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 52 magic resist actually. I have 52 magic resist, which means that I have 33% or 34% reduced damage. Which isn't enough to go up against the uh, Cartus ultimate, which obviously does quite a lot of damage. Yeah, and Nunu, don't worry, you don't need to get kills. You're a tank, you're not supposed to get kills. Udir is supposed to get kills here, because he's our AD carry, and Timo is our AP carry. So we have kind of a strange team composition here. But yeah, we do have a support, we have two tanks, well, one tank I guess, because Udir is not actually going tank.
So as you can see, my uh, my damage is quite significant here, and I'm dead. Yeah, the ultimate, uh, the the Karthus ultimate really kills me instantly. So yeah, I decide to go for some magic resist here. And yeah, this guy's dead. Mordekaiser is really, really running quickly. And yeah, 19 and 5 Udir is definitely the one who has to... Uh, who has to pull it out for us. He has to win it for us. But yeah, if they ignite him while he's attacking, he cannot lifesteal and he is relying on lifesteal to stay alive, just like Yi would be doing. And if you ignite Yi, he cannot do anything either. So we are assuming here that they are going barren, but um, they're not. So we are going to do barren, because that's what we do. We have 80 Soraka, of course you take out barren. I heed their calls. Now we have uh, a Mumu who does quite a lot of damage to barren as well. So I pick up some minions and decide to, uh, yeah, go for barren, let's go. And I'm out of Q range here, which I don't realize until now. So I move in a little bit closer to uh, to be able to hit with my Q. And Timo forgot to attack. And don't just stand around. Oh dear, dying once again. And that's very unfortunate because he could really have used the Baron buff. But decides to go in all on his own instead of helping us with Baron. And that means that the game will go on just a little bit longer. But by now it is... Uh, yeah, it is quite clear that we are going to win. We have three dragons. Well, this is the third one, I guess. And we have two Barons. So we're way ahead in, in uh, money. Every one of us is going to be higher in money than the opponent's team. Except for Mordekaiser, because Mordekaiser kind of has all of the kills on the enemy team. Just like Udir has all our kills, or virtually all our kills. And it's not really uh, the best way to do it, because Mordekaiser really isn't a carry. Even if you feed him through all of the game, you cannot build enough damage to take out the whole enemy team. Unless you get lucky, but yeah, it's not his damage then, but uh, if you get lucky with your R and you pick up the uh, enemy carry, in this case Udir, then yeah, you can kill the whole team. But as I said, it's not his damage, it's Udir's damage. Oh my god. Have the hiccups. Which is always good during a commentary. But yeah, I'm just trying to harass here, and uh, since my uh, my attacks do quite a bit of damage, why not? I'm, I can heal up if I get uh, shot by the tower once or so. And I have, I I'm full mana, I'm full health. So why not? Why not just go for it? So we really want to uh, to push this. And I'm just trying to get some Qs off on people. And not only the minions. Because the Qs stack for like 8 seconds. So even if they're uh, out of range for the next one, uh, well, you have plenty of time to uh, to keep the stacks up. The 
And as I said, it amplifies all of our damage, except maybe for Udyrs. So doing some damage on the turret there. And I'm um, dying here. Hmm. But my points, are, yeah, I, I forgot I needed to mention that. What I was actually trying to do is harass them enough so that they would use their skills to kill me. And the most important thing I did there was drawing out the ultimate of um, Mordekaiser. Because my shadow is worth nothing at all. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It does uh, 160 damage one and a half times per second. And, um, yeah, that, that's just not good enough to kill Udyr, for example. And, um, yeah, Nunu messing up his ultimate there, unfortunately. But uh, Udyr is there to pick, out the, pick up the, the half kills. And he's doing a good job at that. Unfortunately, Udyr has all his items, and yeah, this is really a problem in this game. If you have uh, a, an unconventional carry, so in this case Udyr, you cannot really build enough items on him to um, to give him the damage he needs. Because he, he needs to be able to build more items, or better items, but there just isn't a better item for him, or a more expensive item, unless he sells everything. But yeah, this game is really focused on the high level players, even though there are only a handful of them. There's like, I think, a hundred to two hundred uh, really good players. Which I do, who actually care about these uh, these things because they do tournaments and things like that, and the rest of us, uh, yeah, just it just gets annoyed when we play a carry and we get fed, but we cannot buy enough items to uh, to compensate for the rest of the team just being bad. Because I'm pretty sure this Udir has about 3k gold now, and he cannot. Yeah, he cannot really use that, because there is nothing to spend it on. Yeah, and apparently he, w he still has the Rebirth Aura on him, uh, without having a Guardian Angel. Because he sold his Guardian Angel, which is very smart, because Guardian Angel doesn't, doesn't give you enough stuff, enough uh, utility. And especially Magic Resist, because, well, you only need Magic Resist here, because it's Cartis and... Uh, and Mordecai's are doing all the damage, and then Akali does some damage, but it's also magic damage. And the only thing, uh, yeah, the only thing that's not magic damage is uh, is Nocturne, but he's not doing very well. He's in fact doing very horribly. So I'm just trying to do some damage on the turret here. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to annoy them once again so that I can draw out the uh, the ultimate from Mordekaiser. Because Mordekaiser's ultimate is the only thing I worry about at this point. And um, as long as he doesn't get good here, it's all good. And this is a really close team fight. Nice ultimate from uh, Nunu there. Doesn't actually get the kill, but yeah, this guy does get the kills. And is he going to get a Kali? No, she jumps away. So I decided to go for the BF sword here first because BF sword would be awesome on Soraka. I've never had a BF sword on her. I've never had blood racers on her either, but uh, yeah, AD Soraka is not too bad. Because I am doing quite a lot of damage. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kart is uh, living at very low health here, and uh, it's probably going to heal up in a second. After he deals with these minions, but yeah, we're going to win this easily. Yeah, building three uh, uh, Archangel Staffs is not very good. It does give you some AP, but not as much as uh, other items will, would give you. For example, the uh, uh, Death Cap, Rabadon's Death Cap. But what's more important is, um, yeah, you don't get any defense that way. So if you go for something like, uh, I don't know, Rod of Ages or uh, what's the slow? There's one with the slow. Uh, Relay's Crystal Scepter. Those kind of items give you a lot of HP. And the HP is really useful on Teemo because Teemo doesn't have any HP to speak of. So I'm just gonna go for uh, what is Baron. And Udyr obviously coming to help me. Teemo also doing some damage. And Teemo is not doing a whole lot of damage here because he's AD. But all damage helps against Baron. And now we have five with Baron buff. So our third Baron, with three Barons, I think four Dragons. That should be enough to win this. Let me so let's move in for our last push. And uh, yeah, Timo getting our Timo, and Mumu getting a nice stun off there. We get the easy kill, but then really overextending from. Uh, from Udyr there, and taking the uh, the ultimate, so Mordekaiser's ultimate, and yeah, fortunately he doesn't die because of it, or while it is on him. But uh, that was really risky. But eventually, we are going to get the Nexus here. So nice game, I think, and uh, AD Soraka for the win. No, I really didn't do too much damage here. Anyway, nice game. Victory. I'll see you next time.